Hey folks, welcome to part 5 of manual testing interview question series. Let's begin. First question is, what is integration testing? It is quite commonly asked question. Integration testing is a type of testing where software modules are integrated logically and tested as a group. Here, different modules will be um, integrated and then after that it will be tested. Any software module will work well individually but when they are integrated with different modules, there are chances where software might not behave as intended. That is the reason in, uh, integration testing will be done and there are different types of uh, integration testing as well uh, such as big bang approach as well as uh, incremental uh, integration testing. Okay, and the main purpose of this testing is to find the defects in whenever there is an interaction between two different modules. Suppose we have module A which is developed individually and module B which is also developed individually. Uh, upon integration both of them will be uh, working together. At that time whatever the defects we find is um, reported and this is how the integration testing will be done. For a detailed video, I will leave the link in the description. Please do check out. Moving ahead. What is compatibility testing? Compatibility testing is a type of non-functional testing where the same application will be tested on different environments. Say, uh, we have our application developed but we have to check whether our application uh, whatever we are testing if it is working fine in chrome or not if that is uh, working fine then we are well and good but we also have to check whether it is working fine in other browsers such as uh, firefox or edge or internet explorer because it depends on the users if suppose your application is used by uh, the users, uh, say suppose you have mobile application. At that time, you might have to check for different OS uh, versions uh, or else uh, uh, you have to check in both iPhone as well as Android, right? Whether your application is behaving properly or not. And uh, some of the application will not be compatible with the software we have developed so it is always better to check the compatibility in different browsers and operating system so hence compatibility testing make sure our application is working in different environments such as different operating system as well as the uh, with different browsers and different uh, devices as well moving ahead what are the difference between static and dynamic testing? Uh, coming to static testing, it is performed in early stage of software development, whereas the dynamic testing is performed at the later stage of software development. This is also known as verification testing, whereas the dynamic testing is also known as validation testing. Mainly static testing is just a review okay it includes requirement documents design uh, documents program specification etc to review whereas this dynamic testing it includes unit testing integration testing system testing performance testing security testing etc they are for the validation purpose they are the testing Static testing gives an assessment of code and documentation, whereas dynamic testing gives bugs or bottlenecks in the software system. Um, it generally takes shorter time, whereas the dynamic testing usually takes longer time as it involves running several test cases because we are validating in dynamic testing. Give an example of low CVRT and high priority defect. So uh, this combination uh, quite frequently asked uh, combination basically they, uh, they might ask with low CVRT high priority with the vice versa cases also. 
okay so just be prepared for different types here i'm going to give you an example of what is a low severity and high priority defect suppose say we have our company logo which has been modified the font and color of the logo has been resized on some of the pages of the application so which is actually not impacting the customer basically so the severity is low in this case but it is representing the company as a whole that is the company's uh, business okay whenever we come uh, it comes to youtube or something it, it they have established already if something goes with their logo that will impact their business but not the users that is why which needs to be addressed immediately what is retesting retesting is a process of testing of a particular bug after it has been fixed when a tester raises the bug found while testing the product or the component will be assigned to a developer and once he fixes it it will come to the qa so the qa has to verify it and then this process is entire process is known as retesting you will find a bug you will log it and after the developer fixes that particular bug it will again come back to you you will test it and that process is known as retesting moving ahead what is performance testing and mention its types performance testing is a type of non functional testing performed to validate the speed response time stability reliability scalability and the resource usage of the application by applying the workload mainly when it comes to functional testing we will test the how it is functioning but whereas it comes to performance testing we will check the other aspect of the application such as suppose uh, in real time there will be lots and lots of user thousands and lakhs of users using the application at that time we have to check how the application is stable and how it is responding all these will be verified as part of the performance testing and uh, some of the performance testing tools are jmeter and load runner and uh, coming to the types of performance testing there are few types of uh, performance testing such as load testing stress testing endurance testing spike testing and volume testing so here uh, different types of loads will be applied uh, and then uh, that is how it will be tested uh, moving ahead what do you understand by the term security breach a security breach is any incident that results in unauthorized access to computer uh, data applications networks or devices it is basically an unauthorized access to our application it results in information being accessed without authorization typically it occurs when an intruder is able to bypass the security mechanism and it is a very hard stage for any company which undergoes the security breach what is recovery testing recovery testing is a type of non functional testing it is an activity performed in order to determine how quickly the system can recover after it has gone through system crash or hardware failure and recovery testing is a forced failure of the software to verify if the recovery is successful or not to give you an example suppose uh, whenever you are working on any of the application suppose say uh, instagram it will force close you it has went through some of the disaster and again once you open it back you will be able to access it right so even after the system got crashed you are again able to access it how quickly uh, it can recover that is what the recovery testing is this is all for part 5 stay tuned